Euro dollars macro perspective tells me that we are basically still correcting. Uh, we are basically still in correction mode. The market is basically um, preparing to shift and to basically complete this very complicated patterns which we can actually see um, on, on multiple charts. Yeah. So the Euro dollar this is basically the macro perspective. I have a chart here from 1953 until 2018 and basically we know that from 19 before 1953 the dollar was quite strong. Yeah, so ma the major the overall movement comes from up from strength of the US dollar. Now, how this panned out basically, we have well, we have a su super cycle A, yeah, on the downside and then we went in a free for super cycle B. Then we have this sharp, abrupt, bearish move, like the, the world has ended, right? Something like that. And this this basically started happening in 1979, 1980s, yeah. You know the the effect that it's uh, that uh, the market actually had then. And in 1985, yeah. Basically, let's say for instance on uh, you know right right before right before the black monday yeah we started reversing on the upside with the euro dollar now point is that we are going in a free yeah so this is still corrective yeah we're not we're not basically going in one two three four five this move on the upside this c wave which are marked is not a free this is not a four because it overlaps yeah i mean even if it's an even if it's a leading diagonal let's say for a one yeah the the movement is is quite i mean especially with this type of structures right here so how i decided to label this is basically as a let's say for instance this this abc would complete the super cycles abc's will complete the grand super cycle y the reason why i'm labeling this as a y in the super cycle is that the cycle has ended right here respectively this sub-millennium wave W. The reason why I'm labeling it with a W is because the movement from up could have only, you know, can only come if this is a free and so, so abrupt, yeah? Um, this can only be a Y for this W. So, let's say for instance we're going on the, we went on the upside. How we went on the upside? We went in a one, two, three, four, five in a leading diagonal in cycle waves black one two three four five four super cycle a then we corrected yeah we started correcting with a w x and then a b c for this y and thus completing super cycle b and then we went on the upside in an impulse yeah and basically in super cycle c with cycle waves one two extension in three and then corrective four finalizing the previous four of a lesser degree and then another set of uh, you know bullishness for basically super cycle five for basically uh, 2008 recession yeah then basically we topped we topped at a 2008 recession so this basically being the end of the uh, fifth wave in those cycle the cycle degree and then super cycle degree and thus this a b c completing grand super cycle a now right after that in 2008 we started basically euro dollar started started going down started tanking yeah how it how it went down well it it is basically what 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 i'm seeing here is that it's not going in an impulse yeah so this this is clear this is clearly not an impulse it's a very complicated structure the reason behind this w x y structure and the overall reason for the double freeze and triple freeze etc complicated uh, complex structures is because this movement on the downside is a corrective upon a corrective yeah so there's a conflict of degrees right here we had the overall movement down then we go in in a free so this movement is correcting this abc right so hence the reason why b waves form this type of w x y complex structures i hope you get the picture now what we're going to do is we're going to 
analyze this piece right here yeah because this is this is basically the main interest in this uh, in this video so I have here labeled as a W and then a triangle A B C D E in X wave thus having a you know supposedly supposedly having a uh, W X Y double free structure complex yeah and then so basically w, we have W X and then A B C yeah thus completing super cycle corrective Y and thus completing grand super cycle B so we would complete this we would basically complete this um, bear market on the on the euro dollar that's basically this the and you know that's this is the wave count behind it so the wave count is actually telling me that euro US uh, euro US dollar could have more downside however it's bullish right now yeah so let's 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 just take a closer look and what we're going to do is we're going to analyze this piece as well we're going to we're going to zoom into this piece so that you can actually so that i can share with you my personal views uh, okay so but first we're going to analyze this big correction yeah because it's it's a clear correction right here so let's jump on the charts so we established that the movement comes from up on the euro us dollar then on the let's say for instance before at the top of 1995 we went down in three waves for this super cycle B purple. Now, right after that, of course, we went in an impulse. So this is a clear impulse, obviously, yeah. And the reason why I decided to label this as a C, and obviously because of the overall previous structure, uh, and not a one, is because this is a complex structure. They don't really form in a second wave, yeah. So especially, especially something like uh, some, something so complicated like this, yeah. So it's out of the question. Now it can only be a C super cycle. This super cycle purple C. How this went on the upside? I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to basically show you guys. Now the point is that super cycle within this super cycle C we have cycle wave one, cycle wave two, and then the extension for cycle wave free this black free right here so we went basically one two on the primary scale blue and then green one two three four five basically the extension in three for the overall five so extension in the three of threes then four and then fifth wave simple right so right after that we've corrected with the cycle wave for black in the previous price action of uh, primary for basically the lesser degree and now this is the complicated part because we also have an extension in the fifth of fifth yeah but how this how this is is actually going on because there is there's basically if I would try to label this as a one and then two I would have a issue because if this is a one this is a two three four five what would I do with this piece It's too small to resemble this one yeah, should have should have been higher if I were to label this as an extension in free so the exchange extension did not take place in the third wave yeah so that leaves me with the only option to label this as a one two three as long as the third wave is smaller than either one or five the rule is fulfilled yeah thus leaving us with this leading diagonal in intermediate one green corrective two three four and then one two three four five yeah and even if i use the fib measure measurements yeah to label this one with its corrective even so the 100 percent is right there so it clearly meets the rules yeah and thus we complete we completed super cycle c uh, because we completed cycle five waves on the upside on a cycle and then five wave waves on the upside so you can see how many degrees it's actually you know every degree minor degree is uh, finalizing intermediate intermediates are finalizing primary primary are finalizing cycle cycles super cycles and basically super cycles completing grand super cycles and then we went basically on the on the up sorry on the downside yeah so let's see why I'm labeling it uh, why I'm labeling this this corrective structure as such with a WXY complex structure so WX 
A, B, C. Yeah, this is basically what I'm uh, what I'm seeing so far. But the reason behind that is actually let me actually walk you walk you through um, the wave count. Yeah. Now, if I were to label this as an A, and then I would have an A, B, C right here as a B. Yeah, I would be left with a C wave. So let's say, for instance, either it's a W, but it cannot be an A, right? Because the, 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 it's, it's a combination. So it's a W. Now, this move on the upside can be an X. Yeah, but what am I going to do with it? A, B, C. Yeah, so this will be the Y. The problem is, after WXY, you would go in an impulse. This is not an impulse, it's still correcting. So the corrective pattern takes place like this yeah so basically we have we have basically a uh, structure right here in this free and we're going in an impulse just like we went right here that's the C so it's in my personal opinion not an impulse it's basically the in basically not an impulse in a one two three four five it's an impulse in a C. Thus, the last piece of super cycle, uh, sorry, of cycle B black. So, now, let me just delete all these things. So, I can't label it as, um, you know, because this met uh, a lower low, this piece right here in December uh, 2016. By the way, I actually posted this, uh, this possible rise right there, yeah? Now, the problem is, uh, the, the problem is, if I were to label this even as an A and then a B in a triangle, yeah, I will be left with a C. I will still have this problem. One, two goes beyond the start of one, invalidated. Yeah. Next scenario. What 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 could I think of? I mean, if I would think of like W X, yeah, right here, and then A. Even if the B, I would treat it as a triangle, that will not work. So A, B, C, or A, B, C, still you would have this problem. You would still need to go in an impulse in one, two, three, four, five structures. Yeah? So basically, you will still need to top this top. And it's not showing me this. Now, what it's showing me is basically this W, and then A, B, C, D, E, in a running contracting triangle yeah and basically this super cycle x right here so if we have the structure w x a b c that would leave us with the following scenario yeah now notice i mean let's say for instance you we would want to treat this this movement as let's say for instance a b c yeah so let's let's pretend that we have a bottom right here but if you would have a bottom and the trend is basically would be destined to top this yeah and basically break through because that's the point of if you would go in a in an impulse if you were to go like this yeah this is a giveaway December 2016 is, a, is actually a giveaway because it will, it creates a new low. So it can only be, in my personal opinion, a fake uh, a fake breakout for a corrective structure. Yeah. So I will be I will be zooming in to that piece. So so far, yeah, you can see the trend line, the red trend line that I'm I'm basically let's say I decided to personally monitor. Yeah, because I believe that let's say for instance. This drop right here, the closest fibs is is basically closest fibs. I mean, 50% was breached. Yeah, we're basically right on it. We would expect a reaction, and I will show you basically what reaction I'm seeing on the charts. Uh, and next is basically the 61.8. Yeah. So let's say, for instance, we would also there, another scenario would be to treat this as an A, to treat basically A, B, C in a running flat. Yeah, so you would mark this this B right here, and then of course you would need a C wave, yeah, lower than this, uh, lower than this points. So you would go in an impulse, but this impulse one two, this two 
is like doesn't look good right doesn't have the right look what we call so let's say we want to put one two and then three if this was supposed to be a four and it has the right to go lower no problem yeah let's say for instance it's supposed to go like four right here but it's overlapping with one invalidated yeah even if it's an ending diagonal but doesn't seem that way because of this rise so you see the only scenario that leaves me basically the only scenario that I would accept uh, right now as per this wave count would be a double free in this in this complex structure for this for basically in this primary B and then it shot up yeah and as I said on the on the ECB press conference in 2016 December I was actually closely uh, closely paying attention to the structures so I decided to host a bullish outcome while everybody was uh, was basically um, going going for the for the parity yeah so let's let's basically zoom in what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom into this piece yeah it's a very complicated structure by the way it's a well, oh, it's a, I don't know. I don't even know how to call it. I would call it a. I would call it a quadruple free. <laughs> anyway, let's let's zoom in. Yeah. So let me let me walk you through it. I'm gonna be quick. I'm gonna quick be quick about it. Let's say the problem is that this bottom um, is is basically breaching this this bottom. Yeah. So the 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 thing that I just okay. Now the thing that I have in mind, yeah, let's say for instance, we are already going in a free. So if we're going in an A, B, C right here for this A, yeah, if we were to treat this as a W and then we would treat this as an X, yeah, we would treat this as an A, B, C, you see, we're still left off with five waves on the upside. And that leads me to think that this B is only a um, fake breakout, yeah, caused by caused by its its uh, its bearish legs. Now the point is, yeah, how I'm seeing things is uh, as an A, then call a complex structure in B. This can be a W even X. Some people are labeling it as W X, yeah, but because of the um, because of the structures within it, I, am de I have decided to label it as a B because it allows it to have multiples within multiples. Yeah, so let's say we're going A, B, C, W, then A, B, C, X, W, X in a running flat. Uh, yeah, so right after that, we went on the, on, on the downside. We all remember this day. Yeah, so the point is, point is right here I mean I'm not gonna go uh, should I go for the I mean for the wave counts in this uh, it's too complicated yeah we'll leave this for the for the webinars or, or private sessions or whatever you uh, whenever you guys want so the, basically the point is that we're going uh, basically what I'm what I'm having here is a double free in this primary B so a B yeah creating a lower low which of course because we went higher than this point with the price action it can only be an expanded flat yeah for the C so the C wave is going up and basically what I have here is some Fibonacci uh, measurements from A towards B yeah bottom of B 161.8 this would be my uh, my first my first target personal target for for um, intermediate 5 to complete somewhere around there yeah so let's say the way I'm labeling this move on the upside yeah the way I'm labeling this is with an extension in the uh, in the fifth wave of the intermediate yeah so extension in minor five of intermediate three yeah so let's see let me walk you walk you through it just quickly we have intermediate one green intermediate two corrective and then of course we started the extension one two Notice the gap on the French elections. Another, another successful post that I did right here on exactly on the French elections. So, anyhow, the point is that we're going with minors one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five for this 
uh, minor 3, corrective 4, and then the extension happening in um, minor 5, this purple minor 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, notice, of course, I've been keeping my, my eye on, I mean, the, the moment that I became, uh, that I became, I mean, convinced that the structure is, is real, is this blue line, basically this, this line right here, yeah? Because we broke through it, and you can see where it comes from. This basically determines the structure for medium term. Now, we've corrected right after that, after we topped, and notice that I am marking this as a potential left shoulder for the for the continuation pattern. Now, you can see retracements of this intermediate four, 23.6 was hit, 38.2 was not hit, yeah? Uh, and we went on the US dollar index and you, you basically know by now what are my views. Of course, like this is what I'm trying to, uh, I, will, I will actually tell you that structures can change, yeah? Doesn't mean that I'm, if I'm saying something right now, um, I'm saying it for good. No, you, as, as a, as a electrician, you, when you analyze the structures, you need to adapt. You need to, you know, you don't have to go only commit to only, you know, commit to only one direction. No way. Yeah. You have to be smart, agile, and you need to be prepared for everything. Now, what I'm going to do is because this is an interesting part and I'm going to go over this piece right here. Yeah. Because this is a double free on a minor scale thus completing this intermediate for green. So let's let's basically zoom into the, that piece right there and I'm gonna go quickly on it so that you can actually um, see it, yeah? So it's it's basically this piece. Now what the point is, uh, but before let's let's basically, let's, let's basically analyze this, uh, this piece, yeah? So with the fibs. Now from one towards two, this should be here, okay. All right, there we go. Okay, from one towards two, we have basically the fibs 300% right there, hit by this. Yeah, that's that's basically the target. So with with the extension in this three for the four, I would have a target somewhere around here, as I mentioned. Now, obviously, I have this one two, and this is 161.8 would be basically the default for. Uh, Free and it does look like a free. You can actually see one, two, three, four, and then possibly five. We will we will see. So let's let's zoom in basically to that corrective, and after that we're gonna go over like you know catch up in for real time. So we went we went on the downside with an A. Yeah, with an A B C for for the say now how we went on the upside here a b leading to uh, sorry ending diagonal in in c orange and then we started a c wave one two three four five meeting every rules thus we have a combination it's a w yeah and then and then of course the way you know it you have a combination is when when a, when a free happens yeah and it doesn't i mean it's not it doesn't look right so we have an a Lower point in the start of A, it's clear B, and then you have, there you go, a C, five ways on the, up, on the upside, expanded flat. And then, again, another set, A, B, and then one, two, three, four, five, meeting every rules, causing divergence. This is when I got, I got, I was, I was basically around here, I was very prepared to, to go bullish, I big to continue being bullish because this entire ride, I was fully bullish. I mean, I knew basically because uh, you, you, you notice my views, my previous views on the US dollar. So now how we went on the upside, this is the interesting part because we're catching up to real time, yeah? We went on a leading diagonal in one, then two, and then one, two, three, four, five, three. Again, a complex structure, W, X, Y for this four and then one two extension four five yeah so we've completed minor one green minor two shows a a zigzag type of structure with an extension in c we have an a we have a three in b 
and then one two and section sorry extension in three in a uh, channel one two three four five then four and then five causing divergence yeah you can actually see it then it goes on the upside one within five waves and now what we're doing is we're basically counting in in, uh, in real time yeah so we have five ways on the upside for minute one and then we've corrected with an ABC so simple structure in wave two now we're going a uh, leading diagonal right here one two three four five one again ABC two simple simple structure one two extension then right so we have sub menu at one sub menu at two uh, micro green one micro green two and then all the way down to sub micros black like you know super extended so you have extension in the free of freeze uh, for the basically in the free of free of freeze <laughs> let's say yeah one two one two one two three four five that's completing one three then four then five completing one three then abc completing sub minuet four yeah and then we went we went again with one more squeeze and there you go you have a you have a divergence yeah 161.8 was hit from one towards two so we can mark this minuet black three as completed and then we went on the downside a b and extension is one two three four five yeah simple now we've also completed the four although it was i mean the movement was quite abrupt even so it has not entered it, you know price the price action territory of wave one so we're still good now notice that i drew a channel right here i mean uh, I'm, I'm actually expecting this extension to happen in the in minor free in the free of freeze so this is this represents the extension now how we went on the upside is with a leading diagonal right here as you can see it, it kind of transcends lately lately wave uh, wave one you have to like be careful with them because they can uh, play tricks on you but then again if you're prepared with this type of uh, you know scenarios with channels yeah you could be you, you could notice a free and a corrective and not basically treat it as a free and not as an impulse yeah or to be basically prepared for other scenarios such as this but then you know that you could be ready for for more bullishness so you have a one and then two and then the extension happening in the free yeah now on the dollar index on the smaller time frame i've marked this as a wx y as well yeah this the reason behind it is base, basically because this is a free now this is what i'm this is what i'm gonna uh, tell you yeah from from free towards four for us to have an extension in this i mean 161.8 because 100 percent was breached and we gained support on it right here so this is a sign that we could go in some sort of ending diagonal however yeah we do know that this would be the last leg i mean when i say we i'm saying me and you not um, some somebody within so something like that anyway it's a let's say how i'm labeling this is a w x and a b c and y that's completing sub minuet blue four and yeah we're we we've seen some we've seen some move some movements one two three four five yeah pretty much pretty much this could be a one now of course this is a very small time frame and the structures you know they they tend to to be different on um on smaller time frames some rules could be you know bent sometimes so let's say for instance it would go as a two it would go to 61.8 yeah uh, as a last squeeze we could have this then have a divergence like this i mean let's say the volume is rising a bit you would have let's say this type of scenario but then again on the on the last squeeze up you will have divergence here so this is what i call a double confirmation for divergences um when basically topping out the fifth of fifth <clears throat> so if we were to go let's say for instance even in the 
leading diagonal yeah like this sorry like this we would go as a one two three four five and then of course we would go to this 38.2 measurements yeah but as I said we have to be ready for everything what if this is indeed a five yeah I mean this and we've already completed the four this is obviously the life of uh, the life of an analyst you need to you need you need to be aware yeah because you at this stage if um, you know the way I'm looking at things I am aware that the downside is more possible so I'm not really bullish I mean right now at the, in this very moment let's say for instance I'm not bullish yeah I'm just this is the moment where I'm this is this is exactly the moment where I'm waiting for confirmation and this is uh, this is exactly what Elliott wave traders do right they don't just jump in with their heads uh, forward if you if you do want to make a difference and basically get in the markets uh, pulse um, mostly you would rely on some sort of leading analysis yeah Elliott wave divergences this type of things whatever whatever works for you yeah so I'm not I'm not basically saying use Elliott wave no no that's that's for you to decide what I'm saying is um, use whatever works for you so if you believe that what I'm saying here makes sense yeah if you do believe that then you might as well look into it and I'm pretty open to speaking with people so why don't you just like give me a call or an email or something like that anyhow um, yeah so this is it this is it for the euro dollar yeah now as a summary let's say for instance what I would uh, I mean on the longer scale as a summary let's say for instance I would treat this as a one two three four and then I would be obviously still bullish I would remain bullish even after even after that fall right there I mean in the four that I'm expecting so you know point is I would be looking at the 61.8 for instance or even even right now I mean right now short term wise euro in my in my eyes is a bit bullish yeah uh, sorry bearish even so even though it can squeeze one more but the problem is that it's trading within this channel and you can see the reactions on this on this trend line yeah because mostly third waves tend to form channels this is a tip so how I'm seeing things is basically exactly how you I see it in the uh, in the picture right here if we go up if we don't regardless of uh, what happens I would see this for reached and let's say for instance a 38.2 yeah personally speaking of course uh, you don't have to follow everything I say that's basically I don't really recommend uh, you following my every step or something like that no way you know please acknowledge that there is a real risk involved you know I mean you have to be calculated with these things trading is risky so if we have one more squeeze on the upside yeah then this four could cause some sort of uh, I mean problems yeah because if I if I take a look if I take a look at this this piece right here this piece was a simple corrective yeah normal zigzag so I would expect this four to be complex hence the reason why I think that the market could give some sort of combination like this in a four so we'll see so let's move on to gold 